All right, good morning, everybody. Just wanted to do a quick review on this Champion Power Washer I just picked up. It's a 3200 PSI, 2.5 gallon per minute cleaning power, uh, model 10784. It has a 224cc Champion engine on it, five total selectable spray tips uh, with a nice handy storage area on the top here. As you can see, it's got the zero degree, 15, 25, 40, and then the soap chemical injection. Really simple little unit here. Uh, it's got a fuel tank, which actually has a fuel gauge on top. I, if I can focus on that. I really like that. Uh, there's no more guessing. My last power washer, which lasted me about 15 years, uh, you would know it's uh, out of gas when the engine stopped. So that's actually a nice little feature. Uh, I've got several Champion products now. I've been very happy with them. They produce their own engines. They're very easy to maintain. Uh, oil changes are simple. Everything about them is just easy. Uh, you've got your fuel shut off on and off here. Um, choke is here. Engine shut off switch right here. Sorry about that sunlight if you can see that. Carburetor is easy to access. Oil changes are simple right here with your drain nut plus the nice cutout. So when you're doing your oil changes, that's easy. Um, it's got a onboard tank for your detergent solution if you're going to be using that. Uh, one other decision point for me was what, what kind of pump does it have. My last power washer had a Comet pump. I was very happy with that one. Um, this one, it's got a Anovi Reverberi, if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is an Italian-made uh, plunger style pump. And these plunger pumps do a real good job at efficiently producing higher pressures especially. Um, I actually contacted Champion about that. They were kind enough to send me uh, sort of a, a breakdown from the manufacturer uh, that has all the information about the pump. Um, these, this is an expensive part of the pressure washer, and I'm happy that uh, Champion picked a, a good quality brand. If you read about these Italian pumps, people seem to really like them, so uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, and it looks like there's uh, parts and and what not available so that's that's good the uh, pressure washer itself comes on this nice uh, easy to transport um, little cart here it's actually got wheels that are about twice the size of my old one and uh, it goes over grass goes over bumps and everything just fine I haven't had any issues with that um, it's got a strap in the back here where you can coil up your hose so your hose will just dangle from that the pressure gun itself actually has some nice big grips on it. Um, it seems to be real easy to hold on to. I was underneath my truck the other day spraying and uh, it's just a comfortable gun to use. So I've been happy with that. Let's see if I can show you the uh, chemical tank here. So this is the pickup tube for that. Um, you can take this off and put your soap or uh, degreaser in there. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that. It's got oil reservoirs on both sides. The pump, or excuse me, the engine itself actually comes with engine oil. So you literally just add that and you're good to go. Um, I think break-in's about 20 hours, if I remember, uh, from the manual. And then you can switch to a full synthetic if you want from there. So that's a kind of a quick breakdown of that. I guess real quick, the reason I, I chose this is that 3,000 to 3,200 PSI in the 2.5 gallon range seems to be the, I guess, the average um, for like a homeowner. If you're, if you're looking for a power washer, this is kind of what you want. Um, the more gallons per minute you have, the more overall cleaning power you get. So the next big step up from 2.5 is typically a, about a 4 gallon per minute unit. The problem with those is now you're talking a monster engine and an even bigger pump and then the price significantly goes up from there. So unless you're a contractor doing some pretty significant work like cleaning out major grease pits or something, uh, this size unit is about perfect for you. This will clean the scum off your boat, clean the camper, clean your outdoor power equipment, driveways, pretty much whatever else you need to do with it. So um, my last unit was uh, 2,800 PSI, and uh, this one just being a little bit more at 3,200. So this has been 
great so far for the short amount of time that I've used it. I, I think this is a newer model from Champion, so I didn't see much about it online in terms of uh, a quick video breakdown, so I just wanted to give all my visual people out there a quick uh, overview of, of this unit. So I'm going to attempt to set this up on my tripod. Sorry, I'm not a professional here by any means. Uh, and just, I wanted to blast some of the dirt and grime off of my uh, zero turn here. It was getting pretty bad. So I'm going to start the unit up here and then uh, we'll do some spraying. point here I'm not one of these people that washes my lawnmower by any stretch of the imagination but I had some grass stuck in the pulleys down there and uh, as you can see I got almost all of that out with just a you know, what was that 20 seconds worth of spraying so I'll get under there I need to get under the the deck on the underside here too and uh, try and clean up around the blades a bit um, so that's one of my primary uses for uh, a pressure washer like this the other one is and I unfortunately I don't have any video of it here but I have a Sutner sludge pump and it's just a suction pump you take a zero degree tip hook it up to the end there and then you can actually pump uh, with 10 to 1 power um, sludge or in my case transferring water I've even used it in my pond to get rid of some string algae that I had early this spring um, totally a use I didn't know until I went on the internet and looked around and <laughs> found some helpful tips on that so uh, you know these power washers yeah they're great for cleaning but if you ever have to transfer water or anything there's no point in buying a big trash pump if you're just transferring liquids or water or cleaning out a like a if you have a, a pit in your garage um, you know where the cars drain fluids or uh, winter muck comes off of the car you can hook that up that sludge pump up pump everything out of there and it's just sort of an added feature that I didn't know about until I started doing some research so anyways I've been happy with this if you've seen any of my other videos I don't do many but I've just been real happy with champion they're easy to work with and you can call them if you have a question their telephone numbers are, are even printed on the machines they're they've they've just been great so if, if I come across any other issues or tips or anything I'll be sure to post them in the comments section if you have a question try to let me know I, I try to periodically check the page out and uh, and answer anything I can so hope you guys found this helpful happy spraying